a man his age, he moves pretty good. Did he recognize you? I found his glasses before he found the light switch. What else did you get? Pictures of his tax returns. Shall we go back to the dark room and see what develops? Well, there's only one more name on the list. We might as well finish it. Mr. King's nurse. Ida Baring, girl swinger. She has a playpen out on Highland Avenue. Let's shake it and see if it rattles. <laughs> aren't necessary. The board members already know who you are. Uh, and we know who they are. Yes, well, they've all been informed that I've hired you to investigate everybody in the company who has access to confidential information. Now then, have, uh, have you seen the, the morning papers? Nurse of Tycoon Kelso King found dead. You'll have to excuse me, but some sneak thief broke into my house last night and some of my glasses... Please. It, you did hire us to investigate everyone. Last night was your turn in the barrel. You're clean like the rest of them. Well, you should have identified yourself. I might have shot you. At the time, I'd just taken pictures of your personal records. My personal records? We couldn't know if you were clean until we developed the film. My personal records? Mr. Ash, we arrived at Miss Baring's house just a moment after she was killed. Any clues as to who killed her? Not a one. Obviously, she knew more than a good nurse should. Well, Miss Baring was no longer his nurse. He fired her last week. Well, who else is close to him? Only his secretary, Mr. Carson, and a handyman. Maybe we'd better talk to them. Well, you can't. Mr. King never leaves the premises, and neither do they. That's why we've arranged for you to be interviewed as his new nurse. Oh, I'm afraid my license just expired. I haven't been able to reach him in weeks. Now, either he's sick, or he doesn't take any calls. All we want to find out from you is the truth. Why don't you drive up to that house on the hill and ask him? Well, to say the least, he's a bit eccentric. Nobody's seen Kelso King for over eight years. Either he or his secretary calls, gives instructions, and that's it. And he gets rich that way? I'd like to meet him. You just hired yourself a nurse. Good. Nobody's seen King for weeks. Rumors have driven the stock down ten points. Now, you've got a four o'clock appointment with Secretary Carson. Here's a dosha on Kelso King. Contains all the facts that he was able to keep out of the newspapers. You get that job, and your usual fee will be doubled. One, two, three, four, testing. Sam, do you read me? You're talking into the wrong end of the thermometer. Try it again. Friends out there in Radio Land, keep them cars and letters coming. Kelso King went into a shell 12 years ago. A disgruntled investor put a 38 slug in him. Sore head. He never drinks. He's a confirmed teetotaler. Florence Nightingale, you old son of a gun. But you need a little something. Like this little camera watch. Right there. Right here. I also put a transceiver in the clasp of your bag. A bug bag, bully. More about King. Oh, yeah, I told you he was shot once. He left a scar on his right shoulder. He needs constant medical attention. Here's a picture of him. 
So that's what a billion dollars looks like. Mm. That bullet left some sort of biothematic imbalance in his system. Really? But what does that mean? King can't control his body heat. But who can? Watch your voltage, Sam. Hey, what are you doing up there? Deep sea diving. What are you doing down there? That fence carries a lot of your merchandise. You better watch it. I'll watch it. Please, make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Mr. Carson. out from the back, but you can't see in from the front. Just like Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Mr. King was particularly impressed with your reluctance to discuss your previous employers. Oh, I've sworn the Hippocratic Oath on more than one occasion. A sense of humor. <laughs> a plus factor. You ought to catch my act in surgery. You had them in stitches. You've been reading from the back of the book. <laughs> Miss Miller, you just might work out. Mr. King will see you in the sunroom. Miller, Mr. King. How do you do? The Mr. King prefers not to be touched. It's a switch. I will define your duties. You will prepare my medications. Carson will supply the list. I will administer them myself. There are four suites upstairs. Take your choice. Uh, no, 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 no. That will be unnecessary. I stay under the fan until my temperature drops to 93 degrees, then I move to the fireplace till it rises to 104. You will confine yourself to the house proper. Your duties will take you only from this room to your suite to the kitchen. Am I allowed one phone call? Carson will relay your messages. Uh, how long am I in for? 24 hours, while your references are being checked. Here's a list of the medications you can prepare it now. I'd like some herb tea. Now you'll find everything you need in the kitchen at the end of the hall. instructions well? Too well. Well, give her a moment, and then follow her. In the meantime, bring me a fresh check-in.
the tea. You fix the shots. Let's get one thing straight. You make the tea, I'll fix the shots. The medicine's in that sideboard. Oh, I'll take the tray, Miss Miller. That'll be all for now. Go on upstairs and make yourself at home. My bag's in the car. Well, now it's at the top of the stairs. Sam? How are things with the in-group? It's so in. I wish I were out. Anything over the thermal, Mike? Not a thing. Some hi-fi is jamming it. I was afraid of that. Well, it's quiet so far. No reason for you to keep sitting up on that pole like a big-eyed bird. You're right. The guards are getting growly. Why don't you and your uh, developer kit meet me by the east fence at 9 o'clock? 9? 5. <laughs> picture did you get? Cheesecake. When I was introduced to him, and this is through the two-way mirror in the den. Wait a minute, where's his scar? Sam, that's not Kelso King. It's a ringer, but why? It's a big power play by somebody. Carson? He's in the right place. He could have got rid of everybody who knew a switch had been pulled. Whatever happened to Kelso King, the answer's in that house. Did you get a good look at the man she met? Just a glimpse. Well, maybe it's her boyfriend. Complete with fence climbing equipment. I'll be a bigger fool that comes naturally. I caught her snooping before. Gate. Get me the license number on the new nurse's car and get her right back to me. Where is she now? Her room. Hello, Sam. Not a creature stirring. That's what you think. They're on to you. Now get out of there. What can they do? Fire me? They're on the way to your room right now. Now get out of there. Who is it? Carson wants you. Just a minute. No minutes now. Thanks, Max. She's a private detective. What is it? A listening device. Turn out that hi-fi, quick. Real loud. There may be more of these around.
take me to your leader. I didn't hire a private investigator, Miss West. Well, it's been a slow year for private investigators. So you decided to moonlight as a nurse? Beats cheating at polo. Since I don't know how much you do know, I shall have to presume that it's too much. Like what happened to the real Kelso King? The day after tomorrow, his remains will be found in the wreckage of his personal jet. King and Brissy's stock will hit a new low and uh, you'll buy the controlling interest. Precisely. And then uh, uh, Mr. King will appear publicly and correct the tragic misunderstanding about his death. And the stocks will rise again. With you in charge. I must say you do have a flair. There is one thing I don't have, Miss West. Your associate. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Now, wait a minute. Don't tell me. Uh, it'll come to me. Where is he? Where is he? My dear, this house was built by a movie star who liked steam baths. The cellar is a natural cavern complete with hot springs. If you're dipped into them long enough, it has a cathartic effect on the vocal cords. Where is he? Where is he? Now, wait a minute. Don't tell me. It'll come to me. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Superb. Who is he? Get me out of here. 
This Mr. King's the real McCoy. Who are you? It's a long story. But we're on your side. Uh, well, I'm glad somebody is. Oh, it's gosh. He's upstairs with a reasonable fact somewhere. Uh, now, wait a minute. They've got guns. Well, haven't you? No, we have not. Sam. Pull those wires. What? Pull the wires. Get the wires. Why didn't I think of that? Electrocution is illegal in California. I am afraid it's not very comfortable for you in here, huh? Oh, no, no, it's fine, fine. As soon as Honey gets her things together, we'll be leaving. Mm. Now, she's quite a young lady. It's quite. King. What's all that? Your herb tea and your medication. One shot now, and I'll give you another one in a half hour. Honey, I want to see you a minute. Now, what are you doing? Well, he's such a nice man. We can't leave him here alone. I thought you were going to call in another nurse. I did. You did? I did. Honey. I did. All right, then, what's her name? Oh, what's her name? What's her name? Uh, wait a minute now. Don't tell me. Uh, it'll come to me. What's her name? What's her name? Thank you. 